But looking at our actual cash flow chart, we see that it pulled down the menu and selected a different date. That's exactly why the reason this has changed. However, we notice that this pretty much hasn't changed just yet. We're going to go ahead now and take a look at the received payments. Here, we want to go ahead and select who we received the payment from. And I'm going to select that of Abercrombie Christie. With that, we're going to see the amount that we were collected. We can see here that they owe $3,359. This also includes the invoice that we just created. We can also see that here if we go to the invoices. And we go to that of this person here. We can go ahead and pretty much select that of the current invoice and see it here. Yet, I'll just go ahead and take a look at the payment. We can see here we have the amount, and we see here they owe 3000 and I'll owe or receive the amount of half of that. So we get 1500 We'll choose a payment method of a check. Okay, we can see that we can input the check number. And we can go ahead and save and close. And we can see here that the applied amount will be 1500 Now, we can go to record deposits and record that information. Here, we're going to see that we have the ability to go ahead and cash that check now. What we'll do from here is actually see how we can go about cashing this check and how it's going to affect my statement of cash flow.